Hello everyone, Mario the Pie Man here for some more Star Trek Online. Yes, we're back with Drakara, um, and we are going through the... It is the Romulan mission set, but not the Romulan specific ones. This is the um, Romulan mystery campaign. Um, it's now the one that was open to everyone. In fact, it was the first expansion campaign released for the game. In fact, I don't think I've released until now. Um, so... Prior to this, we have been dealing with some Riemann, um people. We actually ran into them last on Nimbus and then in the um, in the in the vault. But we have now discovered that uh, they are going to be attacked by the Tal Shiar, having discovered a Tal Shiar base in the last episode. So uh, we are going to try and get to that base first and see if we can potentially win them over. Uh, episode's called Frozen. Measurement signature. Intelligence tells that Riemann Resistance have been using the system as a hub for activity. We don't have a location for the base. You may be able to convince the Resistance to talk to you if you send a message in one of their encrypted channels. So we'll do that. So, But first we hit... Oh no, a nebula. Limiting sensor functions. We can just hide from the Riemann ship when we send the fake distress signal. Okay. We to go to this array. Message sent. We've signaled that we'll retreat into the nebula and send a signal higher to pulse that can locate us. So we're trying to basically meet up, but in a way that's not a trap. But we're going to go and hide in this nebula. Signal worked. Riemann scout ship and range. It's moving to scan the area. Tense lock confirmed. We'll be able to track them if they go to war. Large engine build up. Romulan battleship to Koki. Captain, they're firing on the Riemann ship. The scout ship's weapons range are damaged. They're cloaking. Attempting to reestablish sensor lock. Captain, the Riemann ship is cloaked, but the engines are damaged. Sensor detecting attacking on me. Can't stay hidden for long. You should attack the Tal Shiar ship, sir. When we destroy them, the Riemanns will be able to escape, or we'll just right to their base. Okay, well, let's do that then. Incidentally, when you do this as a federation of incoming hail from the Romulan vessel, they've detected us. I don't think these are a bit heavy. <laughs> I don't think Zonorless Patak will say anything that we want to hear, but they're interesting in speaking with you. I think there's some Klingon insults, Kev. Ah, uh, you've been nothing but trouble for Tal Shar, you don't seem to understand that you are only hurting yourself and your own people by refusing to work with us. We are, after all, trying to save Romulan society and culture. If you wish to avoid further confrontation, leave immediately. Separatists have no business interfering in the affairs of those of us who are trying to keep our empire intact. Yeah, no. Made a mistake there, but the, the multi torpedo thing that these things can do. What an annoying move. Fine, well, we're each other going to attract you, so we both like it. Even scouts, at least. So we've got to follow him, basically. Or them. The Riemann scouts are decloaked. We should fall into the Riemann base. We've got time to waste. More ships could arrive at any time. I was literally doing that. You know, I've never really paid attention to the dialogue here. They have switched it. I think initially you were meant to be sneakily following them, but, uh, now it seems that this is an agreed follow, so being this close doesn't actually matter that much. Even ship is on the move, we should follow it. Yeah, I know. 
Oh, so we follow it and I think we get ambushed around. Where is it? in that convenient beacon there. Having to fight off a few ships. I think he wants its followers, Benji. Reams of Ex Expedition Shark locked and we can lock onto its coordinates. Yep, let's follow the Reams scout. Not picking up any ships here, but I wouldn't be surprised if there are one or more cloak ships in the area. Human cloak ships can appear as a concentration of tetrion particles. Continue scanning the area. There's something interesting in the planet's surface. Sensors are detecting a large underground installation. It could be well be the base that the human resistance is using. The entire is protected by a magnetic shield, though, so we can't transport inside. There's a series of caverns connected to the installation. You can send a team there and try to find a way to disable our stuff the shielding. So you can see there's a lot less voicing in this early stuff. Um, this was actually one of the first stories to have any voice at all, and it was minimal. Um, absolutely got people surprised when they did. This is incredible. The underground base is natural, but the base itself is a ship. Derelict class. The Remans have moved a derelict vessel into the cavern. There appears to be an immense area adjacent to the hull of the ship. The Remans probably mine these tunnels for raw materials, and picking multiple veins of ore that could be useful for replicating ship parts and weapons. I'm not reading any way into ship from here though, we'll have to find an entrance. So we've actually grounded a ship. Sadly all we see is tunnels, I think. Towns just seem to be occupied with indigenous fauna. We should have created with caution. Oh, something barely. Oh, Jackal Masters, the things from Star Trek 6. They're all coming. Let's try and find the entrance to the base. Now you might wonder why I'm not looking down those side tunnels. Just to operate the heavy machinery used to enter the cabin. The entrance should be just ahead. I do quite like the icy base though. Tunnel direct with any area of the base server is completely blocked. I wonder if that weapon in the highest setting would reach it. So, first I'm stealing stuff that I flying in crates. Don't leave stuff lying in crates if you don't want to steal it, is what I say. So. Gate is made of titanium alloy. There's no way a hand wave will cut through it. Need something power. That's it. Do you see the mining laser? It's operational. We may be able to modify it to do the job. Controls for it on the other side of the wall. So yes, we're going to use this mining laser to cut a hole in the wall. How long is it? Nope. Oh, we've broken it. Malfunction. Engaging shutdown. 
This was another one where there's actually three solutions. Something must be wrong. We should perform a more detailed scan to indicate the source of the problem. Mining laser's power system isn't strong enough. It won't be able to cut through titanium. There are several ways we can fix it. Your career training will help. Applied tactics and others told you to use whatever there was. You could use several hand weapon power cells to put the output. Playing on weapons aren't compatible. Readers might have left something suitable in the cave. So we've got to find some power sources. And the lab section is probably used to find the ores. Oh. Spiders. I hate spiders. Why does every species we encounter try to kill us? There's a box or something. Not oh. oh, running here. Oh, there's another one. There's three crates, and then we've got to do something with them. I feel like we every so often someone will hurl a grenade just to deal with a spider, materialize a whole gun turret. I have to find the third crate. Possibly missed it. This is actually the one of the three that I'm least familiar with, so I guess I've been trying to rush it a little, so. I'll have a proper look around here. Now that I know what I'm looking for, maybe not the back. Yeah, there it was, I missed one. Of all the power cells, before you can use them, you need to fuse them together. So yeah, we've got to go to the lab. Put the power packs on this side. And then yeah, use the console here. It's quite hard to see the glittery bits in this level. There we go, we fused them. So, it's now ready to use. We've put it in the laser and cross our fingers. So, yeah, the engineering on involves doing relays, the science one involves doing something with crystals. They've each got their own. I quite liked doing that. They don't do much of it now. Yeah. Not many of the future lasers, in fact. To be honest, your. Yep, I did there. The laser's ready and should be ready to fire. There's not much which you use as your specific career specific thing anymore. Uh, I wanted to pick your career now is pretty much doesn't really have much uh, influence on what you do. It's a bit of a shame. Yep, yeah. got it. Success. The other Remans will probably accept you as one of their own. It'll probably take lots to see you. Well, I am a Reman. I'm wearing a different uniform, though. No, two of us are Reman here. So we can chat with people as well. It's good to see that more of our people have come to join our cause. Tell me about your life here. This moon is private property. No solicitors, beggars, or Klingons allowed. Oh, that's fine, that's not what you're saying, though. My Why? wife was working on a mining ship. This was not a military vessel. It had no weapons and limited shields. It was not in restricted space, and it threatened no one. The tall Shi'ar captured it and questioned everyone on the crew for weeks. My wife died screaming in a tall Shi'ar interrogation chamber. I fight for her. What do you want to do when this conflict ends? What do I want? 
I cannot answer that question. All I wanted, all so, I will similar to the last one, died with my. So we can talk to a few of them. I will do. You can see there's so. What do you want? How'd you follow him? Like has a vision. He wants all Remans to be free from Romulan oppression. He wants us to have a world of our own, and not to have to beg for scraps from the Romulans' tables. Obasek will lead us to victory. I, for one, am happy to fight at his side. People aren't happy with his leadership. Many of the people here have lost family members to the Tal Shiar. It's hard to be happy about anything when all you're thinking about is what you don't have. What do you want to talk to this I for? I want out. I will fight by Obasek's side until we are free. But then, I want to explore. I've had enough of despair. There are hundreds of ships that need a capable warrior. I will find one of them, leave this space, and never look back. Perhaps I will join the crew of a Starfleet vessel. Or a Klingon vessel. <laughs> I suppose a Romulan vessel wouldn't really fit. Why'd you follow? Obasek has oh. a vision. No, same person. Like I said, there's about three different dialogue trees. I assembled the old ship and beamed at one time. Mm -hmm. That's quite, a, quite an impressive base. What about you? Obasek has a vision. Yeah, I know he does, yes. And you got an arrow to the knee as well. Do you think Obasek has a vision? Welcome, friend. Obasek says we must trust you. He says we need allies, and that you have gained the respect of the Klingon Empire. I am wary of the Klingon Empire, for they have always been our enemies. But I am willing to trust that you will look to the mutual interest of all our kind. Why do you think Ob Obasek is wrong? I am old, and I have seen much. I fought with Shinzon, and he was obsessed with outsiders. He risked everything in a useless attack on the Federation. If he had thought more about our people and less about his hatred for humans, we would control the Empire today. Instead, we have nothing. This is what comes from dealing with outsiders. What do you want? I want peace, and I want... Oh, I hear that, man. All of my friends and family are dead dead. I have no stake in this rebellion. I quite like I them doing these re stories. That is all I know how to do. But this battle is my last. When it is over, I will find some place. So I quite like that. Just I know they're kind of limited repeating segments, but quite good nonetheless. This place won't be safe forever. We have to be ready to leave at a moment's notice. Prepare the Ah, it's you. Welcome to the heart of the Resistance, little spy. There is so much for us to discuss, and so little time. The Tal Shiar have discovered this. Well, I know, I was about to warn you. I well. will be here soon, and my people and I will have to fight for our lives. Yet one question remains. Will you be our friend, or our enemy? It doesn't matter. It will have no actual bearing on the outcome of any future missions. But we were trying to introduce an element of choice to the game, you understand. My hope is that you are here to talk. But I am prepared for the alternative. The Tal Shiar could arrive at any time. Speak quickly. Why are you doing this? Why fight the Tal Shiar? Why? You ask why? I, I, I speak quite quickly. You this speak place quick is one of the last sanctuaries left to us. And even it is lost to us now. The Romulans have driven us from our homes. Destroyed our ships and captured or killed our loved ones. They seek to exterminate us, and we will not go quietly. One well, of her people. Tal Shiar and their dark masters. Is there anything else you wish Did to see Laura This campaign of terror is the Tal Shiar's doing, not the Empress's. Still, Sila does nothing to stop it. There is little love between the Empress and the Tal Shiar. Did you know that many years ago, she was exiled from Romulus for attempting to assassinate the head of their order? The Tal Shiar have their own... Is there anything else you wish to ask? Why do you think the Tal Shiar are doing this? Kiev and the Tal Shiar no longer serve the Empire. The demons of air and darkness are their masters now. 
They whisper in the night for chaos and despair. Wow, poetic. Kiev gives them blood as tribute. Is there anything else? You Tell me more about these demons. I have never seen one of these demons, and I will not speak their name. But I know they exist. Oh. Eons ago, this they like, ruled this part like of the galaxy. For something that's going to happen After thousands later. of years of tyranny and death, the races they ruled rose up against them, driving them from their home world into unexplored space. We thought they had been destroyed. Oh, we were you're wrong. wrong. The demons of air and darkness survive. And they hunger for revenge. I wonder if we'll ever meet them. Is there them? anything else you wish to ask? Just all fatal wrong weapons. A small supply. They are terrible things. Weapons of war so horrible, yeah, they should never sure. have been invented at all. But they were. And my enemies are great. If I must resort to barbarism to free up. Is there anything so I'm getting else to like this to guy. Ask. What do you want from me? We need your help. You are one of us. I Talk like that. There are actually some changes to the dialogue the for you being Tell them what you have seen. Tell them if our people are to survive, we need assistance. Starships, soldiers, medicine, protection for the refugees. We will fight alone if we must. But I know there are many who cannot simply stand by and watch our people suffer. We must have a chance to fight for our freedom. You know what we face. We face the same enemies. Please, let us be unified in this. Our people cannot fight for themselves if we are fighting each Is there anything else you wish to ask? Ah, quite. I've never answered this one before. I will not fight my own kind. I will not stop you. I knew that I could count on you. We shall both be remembered for our commitment to this cause. Tell your allies what you must, but if they are truly your allies, they will understand your need to help us. With your help, our people will be free! I'm pleased you see that my cause is just. We can do great. Sir, Romulan transporter signal detected. Okay, Sub Zero. Shiar have entered the base. Start the evacuation. We must get the civilians out. Commander Roshna, transport the reinforcements here. Tell them to assist our new. Basically, ally. the only difference it makes is if you go against them, you have to fight. Forces. Help my his reinforcements. This base. Fight well, my friend. My people are counting on you. But I like being his buddy. Tal Shiar troops are beaming down all over the base. Ravens will be overwhelmed unless you can stop. Please transport inhibitors and overwhelming fields. Why are you attacking them? Why are they attacking us? Well, that's weird. I think there's a bug. Oh, hi! I don't suppose it's Tal Shiar, you know? Why am I so? That's a bit different. You usually have to disable transport and have it. Oh, that's because I've answered differently. There's four of them to do it. Don't tell Shiar General. Seems to be an awful lot more as well. I think this is maybe because you're healing. Ah, I think it's because I've sided. So it is a bit different. So this is me in vaguely minorly unknown territory because I've never actually had this option before. Sadly everyone's collapsed because they were all 
Let's get one of them to raise me rather than. Oh, he'll become snagged in the scenery. So, since we're snagging the scenery, I will. can be annoying when it happens and you suddenly find yourself having to fight a mission with just yourself or like two people. Reaving resistance will be able to evacuate mineral losses. We should return and report in. Romulans and Reaving are working together. It's a nail in the coffin of the old age, knowledge and contribution to the Reaving people. With great cooperation. If there be any reason Obasek may have to use those thero weapon, thero weapon that he's awarded. There's a difference in the past. Romans and Reavens are going to have a future. It's best to challenge our allies. Hey. So yeah, normally you just disable the inhibitors that Romulans bring. That's a little bit of a change. Like I say, nice to be surprised by a game when you've been playing it for this long. So now we've got to report to Mech. Explain to him that I've just joined. The Reavens beg for our assistance, but offer no fealty in return. Obisek whispers about demons of air and darkness but offers no proof of their existence. Outrageous! The Remans have been slaves for too long to be warriors now. If they would ally with us to crush Sela and her ships, we could conquer the entire region in a matter of months. There is nothing for us to gain by joining his fight, and there is no honor in Obasek's tactics. I will consider the situation. But I must have a good reason to so recommend this you action. You have this to thing in um as of now, that reason does not exist. If you play it as Federation, it's they're saying that it can't get involved whereas the Quigons it. Congratulations. The very much uh we see no interest in this. Ask Jim Pop. I will speak to the Chancellor, but I already know what he will say. We will not fight at Obasek's side. Not yet. There is little to gain by openly attacking the Romulans, and no proof to Obasek's claims that some hidden entity is directing Haki. I would dismiss the entire thing as a childish fantasy. But, have you fought the Fekiri? There are terrible things lurking in the dark. I have seen them. Perhaps Obasek has as well. Continue to investigate this matter. If there is a new enemy, we must know who they are and what they want. Until we know more, however, Obisek is on his own. Dun dun dun. We can help Obisek, put him on screen. The Reman Resistance is very much in need of your help. Okay. My contacts tell me the Empire has rejected my request for military assistance. Literally just did it there. That is regrettable, but not unexpected. The Tal Shiar are formidable opponents, as are the forces directing their action. I understand if the High Council is reluctant to engage in a battle that is not theirs. So today I appeal to you, not as a comrade in warfare, but as a fellow enemy of the Tal Shiar. My people need your help. I need your help. One of our ships was carrying a load of Thaleron weapons through the Nopata system. That ship has disappeared. There are no indications there was a battle. It is as if my ship in its cargo simply... vanished. If you are reluctant to become involved, consider this. What will happen if these weapons fall into Hakiv's hands? I can provide you with the last coordinates of the vessel. Please help me. Do what you will with the weapons if they survive, but find my people. So there is our the next mission. resistance is very much in need of your So that's quite interesting. That's just got a bit more plot coming up. Um and I hope you enjoyed this little uh, mission. Like I say we're uh, running through the uh, Romulan set of missions uh, that normally all the others would but it was nice to be surprised by a bit of the stuff now that because I'm running a Reman character which I've not seen before so always good when an old game surprises you. So I hope you enjoyed that, if you did please like and subscribe or mention in the comments or contact me on Twitter at Pyman70, that's the capital P, capital M and the number 70. Um, and again, always appreciate any comments or any people subscribing and watching the thing. Um, but uh, hopefully you'll join me you for more of this again in a month's time. Um, but um, in the interim, I um, hope you watch other videos on the channel and I hope to see you next time. Uh, until then, bye for now.